Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Stranded Alien Dawn. So right now the game is paused because we do have some unwanted visitors over here. And uh, let's uh, yeah zoom over. So looks like quite a few small mantises and spike-tailed insects. So only four of them, so that's good. But uh, this tuna over here, Demolisher, looks pretty, pretty scary. Anyways, let's bring back all of that UI over here. And the only one that's not going to come and help us out is going to be Emlyn, because Emlyn has to, oh no, Ember, no, Undraft and Handle, okay, Ken, Nova, Quinn, you guys, I would, I think we want them over there, because I'm thinking, well, uh, in one of the previous episodes when we were dealing with, uh, with the Juno, he or she cannot actually run through the trees, because it's so massive. Right, so again, Nova, Quinn, maybe we keep you over here. Um, something I did notice as well when I read through the uh, description over here is um, it, it's got quite a quite a few strong buffs. Um, smart predators, so it has 90% chance to avoid triggering traps when stepping on them. And that's not very, very good. Actually, yeah, we are going to bring all of you guys inside there. And Ember, if you could start shooting... Alright, there we go. Have we triggered the Juno as well? No. So that is good. Let's go nice and slow over here. Yeah, these are the ones we want to sort of manage first. A uh, couple of them are starting to get pretty close to us as well, which is not very lovely. Let's have a look. There's only one over here, but you guys... I hope you are handling them. Oh no. Two of them are close. Yep, maybe we just fall back a little bit. Nova. No. I think it's better if you use your weapon to fight back. Yep, shoot this one. Can go over there and let's have a look. Ember. Yeah, you might have to help out shooting the ones that are too close to us as well. Health-wise, we seem to be okay. Two more attacking. I think we have to give them like melee weapons as well. So that way they can take them out a little bit quicker. Okay, are oh, we sorted now? Yeah, pretty much. Just one left. Okay, lovely. Can we... Yeah, I think this is the last one we want to aggro. After that one... Okay, here we go. Oh dear. We're starting to break through the trees. Everyone, focus your fire on this tuna over here. He seems to be knocked out, so that's good. I hope we can get a couple more hits in. Oh no. Yeah, I don't like those scorpions. Okay, Juno is done. That's all that matters. Everyone else now. Oh, we've just destroyed some of those trees in here. Okay, not to worry. We should be able to get rid of the rest pretty quickly as well. And there's about 22 little ones left. Yeah, I think we're going to untraft everyone for the time being. And I'd really like to see how our traps and sort of defensive formation is going to hold up as well. So for that, Lara, let's not harvest anything right now. And then this should be... Um, yeah, I think they're, they're going to attack us pretty pretty soon. So let's heal everyone up. Do what you want to do. And... Oh no, Lara. Yeah, you can, you can run as well. This turret is online. So yeah, they can run in. We've got a couple of flamethrowers as well. So yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. We'll resume the time at three times. And the rest of it... Oh, we still haven't harvested. Okay, here we go. Animal attack and all of you. Uh, uh, these guys, bring them over. Lovely. Quinn, pretty sure we drafted you as well, didn't we? Yes, we did. Here we go. Let's bring them out. And it seems, yes, they are indeed all starting to funnel through this area. All right, here we go. Turrets online as well. And actually, Ember, why don't you climb up here? Ken, we can... Uh, I think all of us can move a little bit further up. All right, there we go. This should be good enough. Speed up the time as well. And, well, you look at that. Defenses seem to be holding up quite uh, nicely. Undraft you and someone can turn off their turret as well. Yeah, it was a little bit funny in the previous episode how um, we messed up the, um, the circuits over here. Confused us quite a bit, but now everything seem seems to be okay, so... Let's resume harvesting in these fields as well. Uh, come on, select them all. Harvest. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of grain, but um, do we have space for it? No, we don't. 
Of course we don't. Uh, when it comes to power, it seems to be pretty good overall. And materials... Okay, we do have a bit... Oh, but we don't have alloys. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate, but we are still producing them. What are you producing? Silicon. Can someone quickly set it up before generate silicon? There we go. Lovely. So we should be producing and having some stuff done whilst everyone is sleeping as well. Okay, just a little bit of time has passed and we already have another hungry best um, wave waiting to attack us. Okay, fortunately there's only 38 of them and um, yeah, with this turret and the traps online here as well. Are you not wearing any shoes? I think uh, that is correct because we don't have any and if we take a quick look over here as well. Is anyone tailoring? Okay. Now, Ken is number two. I see. Nova could be... could help us out with this as well. Let's um, switch it to number two and maybe send... Uh, same with Quinn. Hopefully one of them is gonna yeah, get this done. But for the time being, they'll be, they'll be okay. I think now that we have a few more resources, it might be a good time to also put uh, let's have a look. Yep, right over here. Hopefully no one's out of our defensive parameters right now. Lara. Uh, oh dear. You have gone to... Okay, so you're a bit further away. Hopefully they're not gonna run to her. And if we get this turret completed, that would be absolutely amazing. And here we go. Second turret is complete. They've been sitting around for more than six hours already i thought they'd usually attack us much quicker ember what are you up to right now oh you are actually never mind you've got the resources so try and get this constructed no since you're the only one that has the sniper rifle yeah we're gonna draft you never mind let's try and bait them in no let's go this way because otherwise they will attack the walls okay yeah the tourist gonna help us out as well can we maybe get the attention of a few more so maybe they are not gonna attack us as we as we were expecting them to yeah i think we might have to just call everyone over and um let's clean up this wave because yeah they've been sitting here for about more than 12 hours already so we're just gonna quickly run around clean it up and um and we'll probably turn off the turrets as well don't have to consume all that all that power let's save it for another day right so yeah a bit disappointing this wave pretty easy but at the same time uh, I, I don't think we need to complain about it either because um, everyone's still alive base is up and running and nothing's been destroyed so yeah we're definitely gonna be happy I think we can finally do a mission yeah it's been quite some time since we've gotten anything interesting uh, most curious there we go and when how many hours? Six only let's get this one done real quick as well and I think we might do another Hot air balloon. Can we squeeze one over here? Oh, yes, we can. Lovely. Because I think we are at the stage where sort of like the key things have already been constructed. And most of the defensive perimeters are now bricks as well. So, yeah, it's probably not a bad, bad idea to keep those missions or expeditions running. Hopefully to get some more resources, of course. And uh, another thing we do need to be mindful about as well is the clothes and weaponry. Expedition complete. All oh, right. Okay, so we can improve some of your skills. Let's have a look what you have. Intellect is maxed out. Ooh, crafting would be nice because I'm pretty sure you do some of that as well. Construction doesn't really matter. Cooking, we don't care. Farming is fine as well. So yeah, let's do some crafting. Okay, something amazing has just happened. It seems Ember has been doing a bit of mining over here. So we do have the first carbon and nanotubes. We can now do the carbon fortifications. Let's research all those as well, right? Get this done. And I'd still like them to try and mine everything out from there. So let's have a look. Who's our best miner? Five, seven, well, not Lara. Yeah, but let's make you a five. And I do want them to deliver first. It, it seems they are starting to get a bit sloppy and leave everything all, all around. So maybe just change this around a little bit. Make a mining. I guess we can leave it on, on two and then do some delivering. Uh, right, Emmeline, you are our chef. So that is probably fine. Uh, yep, yeah, can focus on scavenging again oh then crafting and delivering again is very 
last thing that we do. Okay, so our second hot air balloon was just completed and Ember went out for a quick mission as well and it seems we managed to scavenge a bit of scrap metal and also our first power cell if I'm not mistaken. When it comes to weapons, we we'll probably prefer to try and find them on expeditions because it takes quite a long time to construct one of them. I mean, if we have a look over here, Railgun Sniper takes about 20 hours. Yeah, that's quite a, quite a bit. However, <laughs> oh, we can start producing some mech cores now. It does take two power cells though. Oh, wow. But we do have to research them and it seems we have, oh, wow, 97 bugs and 13 of those guys. Okay, that's no good. However, we do have two of those. Yeah, I think it's time to turn them online. If we could split them up going in different directions, it might be a little bit better. Oh no, yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Pretty sure this turns on any second now. It is nighttime currently. Yeah, please don't attack us just yet. And daytime is now, which is 5 a.m. Okay, well, that's good to know. That means if we look at our schedule real quick, yeah, 5, this is where we want them to, or maybe 6 o'clock when they want to start working and then they could go to bed a little bit earlier as well let's go and meet them i'm not sure if we will be able to pull pull them a lot closer to us and still be able to retreat because those bugs are they are pretty fast okay never mind they are attacking now a couple of shots from the distance before we retreat to the um safety of our walls and we might even place you up yep excuse you oh wow this is quite intense. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. I forgot about these guys. Um. <laughs> okay. Quinn can... I think we can have Emlyn, Nova and not Quinn. But you guys... Yeah. No. Quinn, I don't want you destroying. We might just go through with you. Can you go to the other side? No, Ember, are you still shooting this one? I hope. Nope. Okay, here we go. Bring you closer as well within the range of the turrets. Okay, lovely. Here we go. And it's all done. Carbon fortifications are now done as well. I don't think we really need or want to do them just yet. We might. We might have to sort of redesign our fortifications a little bit later once we are maybe a couple more years into the game. But right now this kind of setup it seems to work pretty well oh another exploration is complete so uh, memory flights logs okay fine go and check it out see what's over there uh, someone's personal data terminal this could help unlock sleep training breakthrough oh this one's a very interesting one isn't it there are a number of well-known practices to shorten one's sleep cycle so survivors need less sleep time to fully rest i do like this one okay space ship Chunk is somewhere nearby to us as well. Is there a new one? Can't really see one here. No, it must have been somewhere further out. Okay, what were we doing? Yep, we need to start making some clothes. It does seem it's a bit problematic. Nova, if you are right, you can remain on crafting. Quinn is doing research. But after that, yeah, let's move this to number two. And who's assembling? I mean, Gen could be a good person for that. Scavenging. So maybe we drop, yeah drop these two a little bit right so we are now in a wet season and i think it's time to give them a bit more comfort around this place as well i have noticed that we've forgotten to do some floors and i think ceramic for let's have a look mm -hmm. polished concrete looks pretty lovely as well so maybe our crafting room could use some of that for the floors and let's try and pick the other one as well flooring okay ceramic perhaps this is more suitable for the for the kitchen over here let's try and grab this again fill this whole room and okay here we go malfunction battery is anyone fixing this already no ken you are transporting things right now but uh if we could repair this real quick that would be lovely let's have a look at the research as well so sleep training is up next We've already done some defensive fortifications over here. So that's the force field. And did we get anything else as well? Oh, the the gate. Okay, lovely. Falling a spaceship. How far are you from us? Actually, not too far. So we can 
probably scavenge you as well. Yeah, I think it's quite safe over here. Now, with the nanotubes, we'll probably want to try and mine a few more, but it just seems we have too many construction jobs in the queue right now, and no one really has a super high priority anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I think Ember, you should run around and help us complete this, because it seems Nova is quite busy with crafting and then delivering as well. But we'll see how it goes. Anyways, Mechors is now complete as well. But we do need two of those power... What were you called again? Power cells, yeah. We only have one right now. Okay, Tachyon Source. Our senses... Oh, that's another one again. Well, let's see. Rest, you are not too crazy tired. Perhaps we can send you again. Oh, nine hours. You may want to sleep, actually. Well, maybe he can sleep on the hot air balloon. I'm not entirely sure, but sorry, Quinn. Oh, never mind. He's gone to bed already. Well, that's all right. But yeah, so with the base expansion over here, we do want to move out the turbines a little further away from us. And I was thinking perhaps somewhere here, but then the problem we might have again is when those bug waves come in, they might be pushed further away from, from us. So yeah, and then it's not really easy to reach them. Uh, oh, hang on a second. There's some ore over here. Do we have easy access to that area? Mm, not really. Okay, so we might just leave it there. So base expansion is planned in. Quite a bit over here. We do want to keep this area quite safe as well. And in here, I think we might want to do some farming. Now we have to be careful or quite careful about what we plant and do over here because with our machine guns and other defensive uh, sort of turrets around this area we might not be if we were to place trees in this area then we might not be able to shoot any of the bugs so yeah do have to be a little careful now in saying that i think it's time that we can do another layer of defenses and the next one we might reshuffle them a little bit as well but i really like to see oh okay so quinn let's have a quick look what can we can, can we do here physical would be great healing doesn't matter combat would be i mean i i know you don't like combat so maybe maybe physical yeah so we might move a few things around i think with the turrets missile launchers i've never used them but i would like to see how they work pretty large range maybe we could do them like in the corners or like right in the middle but I do worry if they launch those missiles over here, is that going to destroy all of our buildings as well or damage them? Not entirely sure about that, but I think it will be most definitely interesting to find out. Oh no. Okay, here they come. So, let us bring all of you guys out here. Handle this switch over here. Craft you. Everyone's going to come outside. And we probably need to put a few lights out here as well. Oh wow. Okay, this is pretty pretty epic, it seems. And here they come. All right, shame they're not approaching us from the from the other side where we have two turrets. But I think we should be okay in here as well. Yeah, those traps are working pretty nicely. Most of them do get stuck. It also allows us plenty of time to eliminate them. And yeah, the flamethrowers are pretty amazing as well. All right, here we go, just a couple left. Okay, so where is the last one? Oh no. How come you are so far from the rest of the pack? Not entirely sure, but I think Ember, you should be able to deal with this as well, isn't it? And now everyone else, you guys can go to sleep. Probably turn off these turrets as well if anyone has a bit of extra time. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, so even with one turret, two of the flamethrowers, we were able to clear this wave pretty quickly so i think we can be quite happy with our defensive formations around our our base over here now another interesting one that we might want to try out is those incendiary traps although they do take a bit of fuel and alloys let's have a look okay the first ones are usually the fastest that we may want to slow down let's do a row on this side since we only have one turret so yeah let's test them out see how they are okay so there we go quite a quite a few things still to construct i think our next defenses or the the turrets that we may want to use are let's give it a try we'll do one laser missile launcher i was thinking yeah perhaps somewhere in the middle instead and um with the power producers as well if we can get them a slightly 
away from the base that might be might be good so i have noticed that none of the waves have come from this direction so perhaps somewhere here is where we want to create that now i'm starting to think that it might be better to sort of move towards this side with everything else that we want to construct because if we build over here we might we might be blocking off some important key areas and if the waves start in this location which they have already a couple of times then um, there is always this slight worry that the bugs might get interested in all the power producers against the the cliffs over there and um, yeah go and destroy them so yeah perhaps we start expanding towards this zone here instead the next key thing we we also have over here is those crystals 99% on some of them already oh yeah that's the first batch that we that we planted before we started expanding again but uh yeah that is definitely something we need very quickly and now that they are fully grown aren't they 95 temperature okay should be done so this means we will be now able to start producing where are you again power cells and mech cores fabricator matrixes as well Oh yeah, this is the most important one. So Lara, where are you? Okay, activity drinking. Uh, right, I think it's break time. Okay, finally we have harvested some energy crystals. And indeed, this means it is time to queue up some power, power cells for us as well. After which, let's have a look. You are going to need some electronics. Oh, control circuits. Probably number one, isn't it? I think we had a day and night cycle. Active circuit, inactive yeah number one so let's let's do that crafting the next one we probably want is the mech cores until we have i think one should be fine so sleep training is almost done as well which means we will be able to squeeze even more work out of them in the future and after that we shall try and get a few power cells done i think let's do one and maybe give this a slightly higher priority and as soon as we get the mech core done we shall start yeah we can start the research for the light mechs and i can't wait to test them out in in the defense as well so yeah i'm really hoping the next episode will finally give us the mech that we've been waiting for for such a long time it seems our yeah base fixes here have been completed pretty quickly as well so nova has been quite busy and turrets and defenses here are fine have we repaired anything oh no we haven't that's not really good but we can always do another another turret up here and it's time to close out this one quite a few waves that we managed to defend against and we've got some pretty big plants as well and now that we do have the crystals i think everything else is hopefully gonna go a bit more smoothly we haven't found anyone extra over here which is kind of sad but who knows maybe in the future we'll get a get another one but okay i think that's gonna be enough for this episode so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode